Good evening, friends. God bless you. Let us uh, come to the conclusion of our study on David and Goliath. Uh, and today we are going to focus on two things. Uh, first is uh, when David became king over Israel and what immediately happened after David killed Goliath. We read from 1 Samuel chapter 17 that when David killed Goliath, he did not have any weapon with him, so he used Goliath's sword and he cut Goliath's head. And if you read, then David took Goliath's head to Jerusalem. Now, why David took Goliath's head to Jerusalem? What is, what is the reason? Do you remember where Jesus died? Jesus died outside of the city limit of Jerusalem, a place called Golgotha. So David took Goliath's head and he buried Goliath's head outside Jerusalem. And the place used to call, because they, they, he buried the Goliath skull there, his head there, people call it Goliath. Now Goliath was from the city of Gath in Philistine. That's why the place called Ga uh, Goliath from Gath or Goliath Gath. And over the course of time, the Goliath Gath turned into Golgotha. It is also very significant. David defeated a giant and Jesus Christ defeated another giant on the cross called death. And by his death, he provided you and me eternal salvation. And he also fulfilled the promise that the seed of woman will crush the head of enemy from Genesis chapter 3. So where the Goliath's head was buried representing the giants, Jesus Christ died at that place. And by heat under his feet was Goliath. So it is very significant. David took Goliath's head to Jerusalem. So the future son of David will defeat the real giant so that you and me have eternal life. Also, if you turn with me, 2 Samuel chapter 5. Well, all the Israelites and their elders come to David and they told him to become king. And let me read uh, 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 4. It says, David was 30 years old when he became king and he reigned 40 years. So at age 30, he became king. When he killed uh, Goliath, he was somewhere around 16 years, 17 years some scholars believe it's 15 years, says so 16 years. So for 14 years, David was not king. But if we read that 1 Samuel chapter 16, we knew that at age 16 or that whatever the age he killed Goliath right before it, he was anointed by the prophet Samuel to be a king over Israel. This is so amazing. And then if you turn 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 12. Then David knew that the Lord has established him as king over Israel and has had exalted his kingdom for the sake of his people Israel. So it is amazing that after 14 years, David knew or acknowledged that he is king. What about his anointment? 
He was anointed as a king when he was 16. And when he became real king, he was put on a throne and he has built his house. Now he says that he knew that I am king. So all those 14 years, even he was a king, he was not living like king. He was not walking like king. He was not acting like king. Yes, he was going in battles. But all the time he was running. He was running from Saul. He was running from the king of Achish. He was running from Moab. He was running every places because King Saul wanted to kill him. He even went and served the Philistine king Achish. He became his bodyguard. He was anointed, but he was not behaving like king. And after 14 years, he realized that God has made me king over Israel. It took 14 years. Think about that. If David has believed from the very first day he was anointed and has started acting like king, what would have happened? What would have happened if he has started believing that he is king? Because he knew that he, he defeated Goliath, he killed Goliath, he saw the results and he knew that he it is not his strength, it is not his power. He, he knew that he killed lion and bear and he knew that it was not his power. If only he had started believing and acting as a king, though he was anointed, he did not. Maybe he did not believe it completely. Did God took away the promise that David, you are not behaving now. It's 14 years. How long you will, you will run like a scared person? How long? God was waiting and waiting and waiting. God did not took away his promise. The prodigal son ran away. His father was waiting and waiting and waiting. He never ceased to be called his son. Even he was in a foreign land, even he was living a, living a very wrong life, he, even he was eating with pigs, he was still son of his father. The promise, the status of being a son, never changed. You have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And God has called you his life, his, his children. You are a king, a king's children. That means you are prince and princesses. How long it will tell you, it will take to believe that God has forgiven your sins. He will remember your sin no more. Let me read Hebrew 8. Hebrew 8, verse 12. It says, For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. God does not lie. He says, I will remember their sins no more. And David uh, and, and devil is tricking you that yes, you are son of, think that way. You are not son of God. That's why he he tricked, he, he tried to tempt Jesus also. Turn this stone into bread. That will prove you are son of God. Throw yourself down and he, he will not let your foot uh, smash again any stone. Then you will know that you are son of God. You don't have to prove anybody. You don't have to prove devil or anybody that you are son of God and son of daughter. You are accepted in God's family. Devil is playing his game. He said same thing to Adam and Eve when he tempted. He said, he told Eve, if you eat this fruit, then you will be like, God. But you forgot 
that they are already created in the image of God. She should have said, devil, get away. I am already created in the image of God. You, I don't have to prove you that I am created in the image of God. The devil says that if you eat, then you will be like God. She was already created in the image of God. Do you know that you are son and daughter of living God? God has forgiven all your sins. He is on your side. He is not going to remember your sin. Your righteous first John 4.17 says, As he is, so are you in this world. Bible doesn't say that one day you will, as he is, so you will be. No, Bible says that first John 4.17, as he is, so are you in this world. Is Jesus is holy? Then you are holy. Is Jesus is righteous? Then you are righteous. Is Jesus is perfect today? Then you are perfect. Is Jesus is acceptable in God's eyes? Then you are accepted in God's eyes. Does God love Jesus today? Then God loves you today. Friends, devil is playing tricks with you. And he says that, what about this sin? What about that sin? God does not remember anymore. He says that, I will remember your sin no more. And for uh, Hebrew 8, 13 says, by calling this covenant new, he has made the first one obsolete. First one is gone. First covenant is obsolete. He is making a new covenant that you are sons and daughters of living God. Start believing and that you are anointed by Holy Spirit. You have a Holy Spirit. When you accept Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit has come on you. Samuel anointed David. God has anointed you with the Holy Spirit. You are king. You are prince. You are princess. Start believing and start living like prince and princesses. David spent 14 years and then he said, all right, I am king. Don't waste. If you have wasted some time, don't waste anymore because you are prince, you are princesses. Believe in promise of God and don't believe on the lies of devil. God bless you and thank you.